Hey folks, Bennett Lacey continuing our discussion on gloves. Today we're probably going to talk about the most consequential rating of any glove and that would be the cut rating. What does the number mean and how should you apply that number to what you are doing? So obviously a cut rating is going to affect if you're working around uh, any type of blade, any type of uh, saw, any type of sharp object like a piece of sheet metal that might have a corner to it. We're going to discuss those numbers and what they mean. So what do these numbers mean? There's a layer of complication that's been added because technolo cut technology has improved so much in the last several years that in 2016, the system was broke and we had to rewrite a new system. So how does this new 2016 test work? We take a piece of the palm of the glove, a brand new box cutter blade, and you put some weight on that blade. You run it across the material. If there's no failure, you change the blade, put a fresh blade on there, add additional weight, and cut in a new area of the sample. The weight is increased and the blades are changed until there's a failure. Your rating is how much weight it took across that blade to penetrate or cut the surface. The scale is A1 through A9. The higher the number, the more force it took to cut through that sample material. Now again, the sample material came from the palm, so if your application exposes you to cut on the back side of the hand or different areas that are not the palm, well you're probably going to have to do your own field testing. I would use the A rating A1 through 9 as a starting point, but it's going to require your own safety observations to understand if this glove is right for you. I hope this helps you in assessing what gloves are required to meet the needs of your specific situation. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to your hub rep. I'm Ben and signing out.